This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament. Welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. My name is Tim. Today, taking a look at this gun. This is the M1911 from KWA. It's a full metal gas blowback pistol. Very well made gun. Obviously, KWA doesn't make bad guns. The M1911 is an awesome, awesome gun. It's obviously been around for a very long time, since 1911, maybe even a little bit before. It's one of those age-old designs that never, never die. It just feels very comfortable in your hand. It's an awesome gun to shoot, both in real life and this airsoft gun as well, since it's so well made. Like I said before, the construction is entirely metal. Some of the features on it are the safety, thumb safety right here, keeps the gun from firing, and also the functional grip safety. If you're not holding onto the gun properly, the gun will not fire. There are cocking serrations on the back, no homo. None on the front, but it does have, it does not have, I should say, a spring guide like most modern 1911s do. This is an original design. There's no spring guide below the barrel, so you can actually rack the gun from the front. Cocking button, again, no homo. The magazine is a single stack 15 round magazine, so you can hold 15 in there plus one in the chamber. I will mention something though, if you have the magazine completely full and you put the mag in the gun, the chamber will push the BBs down just a little bit and since KWA has this locking follower on the bottom, you're only going to be able to fire one shot before you have to take the mag out and push it in again. So I would only recommend putting 14 rounds in this magazine. That being said though, this is an extremely well made gun and Jan is going to shoot it for you guys at the Chrono Station. Hey guys, this is the KWA M1911. It has a single stack mag and it holds 14 rounds. Let's test it out. Okay, as you can see, the KWA M 1911 does not shoot very hard, especially when most other KWA pistols shoot upwards of about 330. With that being said, though, 280 to 290 FPS is plenty for a sidearm. This gun is going to remain in your holster most of the time anyway, until you pull it out and shoot someone, and it's most likely going to be close range. If I had to pick one thing I didn't like about this gun, it's the fact that it is completely blank. Okay, there are no trademarks on this gun at all. KWA did not pay Springfield for the trademarks. They didn't even put their own logo on here. Okay, there's no KWA anywhere but the box. But like I said, aesthetics aren't as important to me as build quality and performance, which are two things that KWA does very well. This gun is for sale for $155 on airsoftgi.com. For a little bit more, you can get the player package, which comes with a bag of BBs, um, a silicone spray bottle, and a propane adapter. So take a look at this gun if you're into the classic looking M1911. This is a very well made gun. The FPS doesn't bother me very much. If I had to pick, had to pick, this doesn't really bother me. If I had to pick one thing I didn't like about this gun, it's the fact that the slide is so plain, okay? This does kind of look like one of those cheap Chinese clones, but it most definitely is not. Oh, I shouldn't say that KWA is going to rape me. Just something, or just KWA 1911, just something on here, you know? Yeah. Three, two, this gun's for sale on Airsoft GF for two hundred. Oof, $255, that's too much.